Good morning, Houston. This is Chi Nguyen with the Push and Win Law Firm. Just wishing you guys a safe drive to work. In the event somebody hits you, you know who to call. 833-PUSH-WIN. Or visit us online at pushwin.com. That's P-U-S-H-W-I-N.com. 833-PUSH-WIN. Because everybody loves food. Some people mm-hmm. like to cook it more than others. Some people hope you like to cook it because they don't cook. Like Eric said, his b- biggest food hack is having his wife make uh, food. Yes. You're missing out. <laughs> I love, I love cooking. I love eating, so. Mm. There are little yeah. tricks. That I don't like the pressure, man. You guys that cook, more power to you, man. I enjoy it. It's just. It's, it's a bad meal. I hear O'Brien gets so sad when his family doesn't eat his food. I do. I do. <laughs> you like, know, why do I want to set myself up? It's constant disappointment. Here's you what you do. Had a situation, that situation, Ryan, where somebody actually liked it all? Because you're always like, I worked so hard Act on number this. number one, said anything. if you're going to experiment and try new things, do it without an audience. Yeah. Like, if I'm trying something new or adding something to the repertoire, I will just make a small portion, try it myself. Trial run. A trial Absolutely. run. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that way you, know you don't gross everybody is? out. Here's the hardest thing for me. I have cooked for other people and sent it to their houses. Like, sent it to their house. Like, I did a roasted chicken with vegetables. I did a, a Greek pasticho, which is basically like a, for lack of better description, it's like a lasagna. And you can't sample that before you give it to them. You have to just trust that what you did mm-hmm. is going to be awesome. And the way I cook, I don't go by recipe books i eyeball everything yeah like, same here if, if the recipe book says three garlic cloves i'm putting in like eight yeah you know what i mean like we're not n- nilly willy nilly over here with that's, the garlic the salt and the that's pepper. the way well, to do it the first time with a recipe especially if it has a lot of ingredients i will tr- try to stick to the actual scoops but after you've done it a couple times you know yeah. how much to put in right so that's a tricky game, you know? And so I always like to look for things that can stretch out the, like, make it easier for next time or whatever. I've always said this about rotisserie chickens. You can go to any grocery store in this city. You can go to Costco. You can go anywhere and get a rotisserie chicken for dinner right now or for lunch right now. But once you eat whatever you want to eat, you usually have the dead carcass of a bird hanging out in a bag. And you're like, okay, well, I guess I'll throw this away. No, 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 no. You're going to get a pot. Mm-hmm. You're going to get all those vegetables that are probably going to go bad in your fridge and dump them in there. You're going to chop them up. Just throw them in there with the bones and the leftovers of that rotisserie chicken, and you boil it down into stock. Ugh. Then it goes room temperature, and then you section it off and freeze it. So when you want to boil pasta or orzo or rice next time, instead of just plain water and salt, boom. And what, you got what was that hack we were talking about, the, the ice cube tray? The ice cube tray, you can do it with uh, chicken broth. You can do it with wine. Pour it in there. and then Wine's going to go bad, so you put it in the ice cube tray. You freeze it. And if you're going to make something Italian or something called goes wrong, like chicken piccata or your meat sauce, you drop the cubes of the wine instead of having to open a whole bottle or buy a half bottle of wine to put it. a little bit to cook with. Head, yeah, yeah you can also use cupcake um, holder uh, tins. Tins. Uh-huh. Tins, yeah. Uh, Sam just gave me a whole gallon of safrito, safrito, which I could not use all of it, so I made it in little hockey pucks. Okay. Like in the cupcake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so and that's perfect it. amount for two people. You just throw it in Is with it hard the to rice. Get it out of the pan? No, because I have these yeah. new silicone ones. Yes, oh. I didn't have those, oh, and yeah. I had to throw all mine away because by the time it defrosted, yeah, it was all liquid oh, and it was disgusting. Yeah. Oh, that's no point so it looks like I'll be stealing. And I don't cook a lot with with bacon grease, but if you have ever made bacon, you know the grease is left over. Yeah, you you can try that too. If you're like a bacon grease that. cooker, Ooh. you can freeze those into cubes. But I'm I'm more of a butter well, or olive oil. My girl. mom used to have it in the corner of the over at the stove. You know, we finish the bacon, you put yeah, it into that little jar yeah. there, and then she'd use it again to cook later on. Oh, yeah. she'd use it again. Yeah, you'd yeah. use it in third harvest. I just throw we that away. We used to Folgers can. Yes, yes. yes. we did too. <laughs> and then he folded it away. Mom and dad did away, that. Right? And then I said folded away because you Fold. said Folgers. <laughs> and then in a hundred years, the well, aliens anyway. are going to come to this land and find all these cans of Can grease, grease buried in the dirt yeah. somewhere. <laughs> and it's all thick and gooey. I just you can text us at 37530 as Eric goes on. Uh, Shelfcooking.com slash food hacks. Mm-hmm. Food dash hacks. But you can just Google that. I yeah. know mm-hmm. Rula had a list of different stuff. Yes. But this is, some of the stuff looks pretty. Go through decent. the list. I, I'll give you a food hack. I've got one or two signature dishes that are so, so easy to make, and you'll have the best time Ryan, doing it. I keep telling you. But that's you. a recipe. Is Bring there a it? hack to the recipe? Yeah, the there is. A, okay, here's a hack. Okay. I don't know. Do you ever serve, like, the little red potatoes, the roasted potatoes with your meal? I just yeah. throw them in a pan with some salt, pepper, garlic, olive oil, and oregano and have a time. Okay, here, here's juice. a really easy <laughs> hack where you can make them crispy in the oven. First, just boil them on the stove. Bring it to a boil, boil them for about six, seven minutes, and then strain off the water, and then 
dash, you know, a little bit of avocado oil on it, and then put it in the in the uh, the casserole pan, stick it in the oven, so they're nice and fluffy on the inside, but you get the crisp on the outside. See, I bro, I, I do that, but I broil them. Yes, and gives I'll, it I'll that, do that crisp. Too. And then yeah. do you bathe in the water afterwards yeah. to reconstitute <laughs> something? That sounds no. like a great bathe idea. Though. <laughs> With like, how do you like you know make it go further? Do you bathe body? in that yeah. potato water. Take that starchy <laughs> potato water. <laughs> well, if you're if you're looking to save things too, do you ever buy the cans of like mixed nuts or like cashews or anything like that? Yeah. And yes. sometimes you, you know you get towards the the bottom of the can, they're all kind of crumbled up, or whatever. And take salt. take those things with the salt. Throw it in a Ziploc baggie. Take a roller and pin and grind it up into like a powder. And then if you're cooking chicken, you can actually just. Soak your chicken like egg white. Crust your chicken and in that. Crust your chicken in that. And oh, it's good, so yeah. delicious. That'd be good. Mm-hmm. I also went about butter uh, on TikTok. It, you know, I, it's frozen. Sometimes people keep butter and it's really hard and you mm-hmm. can't, you're like, I can't even cut it with a knife. Okay. So mm-hmm. you use like a cheese grater and grate it like you're mm-hmm. doing cheese. Oh, oh, yeah. And then it'll, God, it's a great idea. Messy AF. That's no, really no, 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 no. When it's no, frozen, it has, no. To be, has to be solid butter. No, when it's frozen, no, it's frozen. And you but can, like you, you just go back and forth. But your and hand, makes, where your hand, is it around the cold butter the or is it around the wrapper? Around the wrapper. Around the wrapper. Okay, but then do you grind off the wrapper? You're not too? grinding you the wrapper. Around. You peel the wrapper. <laughs> yeah. you know the, oh, oh my god. god! And then you put your finger in it, Kevin. Yeah. You yeah. add that on top. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. beautiful color. Here, Rich, you can turn the dish, uh, the garbage really disposal, and color. reach in. Yeah. Here is uh, a couple of uh, hacks from this list. If you want to have a popcorn night and change up with just regular popcorn, do that. Get a ramen noodle packet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Take the seasoning out. Leave the noodles. Mm-hmm. Take the seasoning packet from the ramen noodles and add some melted butter, mix it around, and shake your popcorn around with that. You wow. could add some cayenne, some chili powder or cayenne pepper to it give it a little like spice. Flavor? I feel like this is a, a mod hack. Like, I feel like he would use... <laughs> a mod would do this? Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Like he loves that ramen. Like, if you don't want to butter your popcorn and you want it to taste delicious... That sounds weird. Buy avocado oil. You can line the bottom of the pan with that, put a ample amount on their bottom and then shake it over the stove old school and you don't even need to butter your popcorn it tastes so good what? just buy the bagged popcorn it's so What's good that no healthy? it's so much better I than skinny bag pop, popcorn. I'm skinny pop the is purple it even healthy bag? though oh, people always God, say it's skinny pop is amazing if you follow the recommendation because they put the word skinny on a people doesn't mean we're going to well it's, it's a hundred it. calories I yeah. think for like a just because it's low cal does like not mean it's healthy would you get the whole shame bag you let me eat that alone okay exactly I'm still thriving to have 62 cases of skinny pop and we're going to be just fine bring in that popcorn I'll make my popcorn no, I want you we'll guys to try. We'll do a blindfold try... taste test. And you so tell me which one is better. Hold on, no, I want you guys to try the skinny pop, salt, and cracked pepper version because the, the grocery stores for some reason around here don't have them. But I was in Pearland over the weekend, and I went to a Kroger that's AKA a Bucky's. They had clothes in there, and they had like some cutesy little Bucky's looking thing with like blue bonnets and bees. I go, what the heck kind of Kroger is this? And it was. Cracked pepper and salt skinny pop for days. You like that one, huh? Oh my god! I was driving back from Pearland. That might as well have gone to Boston and driven back. <laughs> I ate the whole damn back drive back to my house. I was like, oh my god, I ate the whole bag almost. Mm-hmm. It was just the crumbs. You love that cracked pepper and stuff. They that cracked pepper. That salmon I used to, that smoked salmon. Yeah, I got it. Should be now. It's at uh, Costco. Has it now? It's kind of. I forget the brand, but they have maple. Uh, the, the maple, mm-hmm. which you like, maple mm-hmm. smoked salmon, and then they have this one with salt and pepper. I'm like, Wait, oh, hold on. I wasn't in Pearland. I was salmon. in Richmond. Sorry, I was in Richmond. I don't know about all of that now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. Okay, man. here's a hack somebody posted. Mixing a few cereals together for variety and to regulate the sweetness levels. If you just do like corn flakes, which don't have a lot of sugar to it because it's not frosted flakes, mm-hmm. and, and honey smacks, like, like uh, a yeah. sweeter cereal with it, you can Cinnamon mix it Cinnamon Toast Crunch, up. that is the sweetest. It's, I like I like the special so K. I like special K with yogurt clusters, and sometimes that happens in studio. <laughs> well, yeah, that's when he's wearing it in his beard. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a special K cereal with the yogurt clusters. Oh, here's another hack my mom taught me. If you ever make cookies that you wanted them to be soft, but they ended up being crispy, I like crispy cookies. Mm-mm. But my, you know, five kids already has a different thing. She puts them in the like a Tupperware cookie jar with a piece of bread on top. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it softens up. That's my yeah. mom did. That must have been a hack they saw from Betty Crocker or something, <laughs> something in the eighties yeah. or something. Right? Yeah, it had to be. <laughs> and then they learned. And then I know Kevin, you say that the water that collects on top of the faya, you're supposed to like mix that in and eat that. But some people don't like it when your sour Ew. cream or your yogurt gets that water on top. Yeah, that's way. Yeah, some people don't like that and they don't care to mix it in. My mom, you you would put like um like a dried like piece of toast on mm-hmm. top of it. When she stored it, it would soak it into the toast. You remove the toast and just eat your yogurt. Wow, I was this oh, many years man. old when I just figured whey. So in curds Little Miss whey. in Little Miss Muffet, is that what she's eating? Curds and whey? Yeah. It's that way. It's yeah, yeah that protein. W H E Y. 
Oh wow! Whey protein. Herbs so yeah. So de- so definitely mix that mix that stuff into your yogurt. You're losing your protein if you're not mixing in your whey. Okay, what's this picture Eric has? What is this? That's the one at Costco now. I was telling you about. Oh, cracked pepper and salt. Honey smoked fish company. Yeah, that's the salmon. Company. I'm not if a salmon up, they're, girl. They're like they're Wait, is that a hack too? Taking a a, a so board great. and putting it in a frying pan and then putting the salmon on top of it. <laughs> That's just a yes, sham it hack. is. That's just a, an insurance <laughs> hack of how to burn down your house. Okay? I, I didn't remember that. In your white pan. Cedar plank salmon, but <laughs> I made it in that. my frying pan. <laughs> the, the cedar plank in my pan. And now I'm the Trish mom that has to take care of a kid. You. Wish me luck. Just don't cook. <laughs> Yeah. Good thing they're all in bottles right now. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be careful with that, right? Can't, can't mix those up. In the old days, didn't they used to have to heat those up? Yeah, we used to have to boil the bottles. You had to put it on your, like, your... Yeah, mm-hmm. your wrist. Yeah. We do room temperature. He's okay. He's yeah. thriving. They say that's the way to do it. If you get the kid used to the heated heat, and then when you're on a go... And yeah, you, exactly. They're spoiled. Yeah, he's fine. Don't spoil him. Okay. It's weird how babies like the the hot stuff because when you're a kid, you like. Or I always like the cold drink. Th- they don't like the hot stuff. It's just more room temperature, and they don't have a choice. Let's yeah. All right, coming up next, we got couples court. Oh man, this is where two people are bickering over the same thing over and over. It's exhausting. So they bring it to us to tell them what to do in their lives. We're gonna hear what the subject is all about next on the Rule and Rain Show. Judge Rula, Judge Ryan, and Judge Eric. We've got to go three on this one so there's not a tie. Majority rules. Yep. And here's what you do. Go to krbe.com and tell us you want to be part of couples court. Eric will get with you guys, get you on the phone with us, and then we find out what are you fighting about? What's the big deal in your relationship that's killing it? Mm-hmm. Uh, so let's welcome Tommy and Jennifer to the phone. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning guys. So Jennifer's the one that really messaged us. We're going to let you plead your case first. It's almost like a panic court. button. It <laughs> yeah. kind of is. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer, what's the problem? My husband and I and our kids have a private pool in our backyard, and we love it. We use it. But now that we're heading into summer and there's a more public pool, our kids love to go there with their friends. My husband, who likes to wear those tiny little European Speedos in our backyard, is now wearing those out at the public pool. No, 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 no. Exactly. He brings entertainment to the pool. You realize, Tommy, everybody at that pool is talking about you like, oh, God, look at this dude. Taking photos, I bet. How old are your kids, Jennifer? They're um, eight and ten. Okay. Oh, God, those kids don't want to see that. They're short. So, you know, they're right at that level. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> all their friends, are, you know, and their parents, are they're all at that age, right? Where you don't want to be teased. To be fair, it's not that much smaller than a pair of short shorts. I feel free to swim, and I feel a little bit less hot in them, you know? Like, everyone's wearing clothing in the middle of the summer. It's a public pool. You don't want to do that to your kids. Don't they have it's so embarrassing. your public pool? Like, at my public pool, it says, appropriate attire required. Everything's covered. All the rules are covered. And I'm not thinking that an eight or ten year old, they're not going to look at that. And I don't, I'm not there to be looked at. Their parents will certainly look. How would you feel if your wife Jennifer was wearing a thong and like a little string top? I would not walk around in something like that. That would be completely inappropriate to be with the kids, too, you know? Uh, if she wants to do that, that's fine. I'm not going to body shame her. I, I love her body. Like, if that's how she feels comfortable at the pool. So are you feeling body shamed that your wife is telling you, save everyone the embarrassment and save the teeny European bikini for our private pool and wear something more Just coverage-wise, regular, wise, regular chunks? chunks? Feels a little bit weird that I'm getting looked at like that. It's not even about body shaming. Could you imagine Rula, Papa Love, or my dad, or Eric, your dad, uh, we're all at the public pool, and our dad is wearing a little thong or a little. I mean, if you could pull it off, thong. it's a European. You pull it's, off. Still, it's creepy. It's gonna embarrass the hell out of the kids. Speedo. It's not a thong. I don't have floss going between two two of my cheeks. You know, it's, <laughs> right, it's right, like right. It, it's covering. That is, that is true. I will, I will give him that. But Tommy, you have to admit that it is super tight. You may not see everything, but it still kind of shows everything. With you know, outline. and kids are definitely curious. Exactly, kids are definitely curious at that age. And I mean, this is what we used to call a banana hammock. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, let me make this point, Tommy. I did say earlier, like. 
you know, oh, everyone's looking at everybody. Usually that's not true. You know, we are so self-conscious about ourselves and we're thinking everyone's going to see me. But really everyone's so worried about themselves. They're not really paying attention to everybody. But don't give them like something that stands out. When something like that stands out, everybody yeah. notices there's a guy Except here in a European thong. People I mean, like Ryan, though. Thong, when, when Ryan swims, he wears goggles. That's creepy. <laughs> that stands out, too. In my weird. own pool at no, home that no, I swim no. in. We've been on vacation with you. The, you wear goggles in pool. Yeah, because the chlorine burns my eyes, and I like to swim laps. Yeah, you're, yeah you're, that was totally appropriate. But you're hanging out with us at the bar with the goggles on. Yeah. I was not. <laughs> yeah, that's, you're just fibbing, rolling. No, that's, that's not right. That's when I first noticed. I'm like, why is he wear goggles? That's just, like, for creepy people. <laughs> no. I want to do peek a Well, you had a problem with was when we were in the pool, and you said, where's the bathroom? And I said, you're standing in yeah, it. Yeah, that was pretty gross. <laughs> oh. that was okay, but I don't do have we, the speedo than the human pool toilet. Yeah. <laughs> do you see what she's saying and what we're saying, Tommy? It's not, you can be as free as a bird, as she says, at your private pool, but when you're with your kids who are 8 and 10 at the public pool with all their friends and their friends' Well, parents, let's ask that. Are, are your kids embarrassed? They haven't really talked to me about it because at the private pool, it's not a big deal. They're used to it, so. Yeah, but I mean, how are they going to bring it up? Dad, you're balls are showing. I mean, yeah, they're not going to say anything. You know what's going to gonna happen, Tommy? I would. If you yep. if you have raised your kids to see you in that and they think it's normal, it's not until some one of their friends makes fun of you or says something about you to them. And they're mm-hmm. like, "What?" And they're going to tell you or they might be embarrassed to tell you. I'm both, nobody wants their parents to I go make with fun I'm out. going with Tommy. Hell no. You know Tommy where, are you in insane? Oh where, my god, Rula, like, you're on my side, where, aren't you? Yeah. Wear what you no, want to no wear. No to the speedo the public in public pool. pool. As long as it's not like showing your privates, then you can wear a it. Speedo is so tiny. I mean, no. He says not like a speedo. Speedo. That. It's like those dancers that Kevin and Ahmad like to go see at the places. <laughs> I saw a Space City pretty. The I saw. Hot that shorts. would not be appropriate at a public pool either. You know, you no. don't want to expose Look, kids to that. The hot back. shorts are good. Yeah, they're hot his shorts. His body backs it up because then everyone's like offended. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah the for some reason that's that's okay. Oh, so Jennifer, does his body back it up? No. Not really, but I love him. I think he's adorable, but it is not sexy because it just shows everything, you know? It's like you need to have a little bit of... You have to shave your legs, Tommy, because I feel like that would look weird, like really hairy legs. Might have to shave more than that. (laughs) (laughs) He's wearing a Speedo. I've been thinking about that, but I don't care that much about how, you know, my Yeah, but the rest of us do. We don't want to see that, so uh, I say no. Lose the Speedo. Yeah, I'm going with your wife's side because I just want to spare your kids... The embarrassment, or even yourself. I think that people are they're looking not embarrassed, at you more than though. you think. Oh, yes, they, they are. are not embarrassed they're yet, not going to say anything. How many times have you been to the pool in that Speedo? How many times has it been? Like three. At home, he can wear whatever it is that he wants. Totally fine. It's just being out in a public place. I mean, at least bring some cover-ups with you, you know. Oh, if you're eating, like, chicken tenders and you're straddled the... the uh, Sun chair. The chair. Oh, <laughs> you know how okay. oh, people do that? Oh, Come on. <laughs> yeah, maybe I changed my mind. That image is gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. I flip, I'm out. Uh, Speedos at home, yes. Speedos at the public pool with your kids, and big fat no on the Rule and Ryan show. Case closed. Jennifer, you win this trial. Excellent. I don't know if Tommy's going to adhere to that. I'll consider it. I think it's... What? Oh, no, 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 no. You said you'd come on the show. No, 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 son. You, you agreed to abide by our ruling. That's true. That's true. Okay, I will wear... Uh, a little bit larger clothing. Where those ones that Rula you wear those pants? Oh, the swim pants or swim capris? <laughs> yeah, swim pants. It started her Adam's apple swim and they go all the way down to her ankles. <laughs> no, I discovered that when you jump off of boats into the ocean, your swimsuit ends up up your butt. So if you have like swim capris or something for like sports, it's very awesome because you can wear them all day long and they dry while they're on you. I love them. Anyway, mm-hmm. I would like to know Feels also if when you wear the regular pair of trunks, will your then kids say? Wow, Dad, thank God you changed. That was really embarrassing in your underwear. <laughs> I don't wear underwear. <laughs> oh, God, you poor well, kid. So maybe that's why no underwear, yeah. then you, you feel like you're putting a lot on because yes. you have something covered. You're so confined. We'll, we'll call you back for that discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, thanks for contacting us. Y'all have a great day, guys. Take care. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. All right, case no, Come on, y'all. You are so... Judgy on yeah, Kevin. I was people here don't up. want to see their dad in a Hold speedo. On. I was even looking up what is the dress code for public pools. Just universally, what is the dress code for public swimming pools? Why I've seen it, that sign at our community pool. Why can a woman wear appropriate a, a, attire? Even she shouldn't. A, a woman shouldn't she wear, can't a wear a real, the thong either. Real at a community pool. Not a thong, just a, a bikini. A woman can, can wear bikini. a bikini, bikini but it's so fine. A, but so a dude can't wear a bikini. It says on here, generally the dress code at most swimming pools prohibit any clothing that is not swimwear, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, some swimmer might not be allowed, such as rash guards or board shorts due to how loose and lengthy some of them are. And if it's too revealing... 
but swim trunks slash have you seen those prank shorts are allowed. Uh-huh. I mean, the, the ones that shorts? dissolve. Yeah, the dissolve. Have you seen those, Kevin? I no, wanted to buy I those for not. Kevin, Mark, when we go on our oh, little vacations. That'd be hilarious. But they're expensive. You jump in and they dissolve in they the water. Dissolve. They fall apart. In the water. Like, oh yeah. my god, <laughs> it's the best thing ever. You, I mean, I imagine that the material is kind of like it's it, gonna be thin, it's, right? It's like a, yeah, it, it's, it's gonna tattle on itself. It's gonna tattle on itself. Try it Tuesday. I'll get a pair. Try it Tuesday. What are these? What are these shorts that you and Ahmad like watching people dance in? Watching people dance. That's what Eric said. Well, Ahmad, I saw Ahmad's Insta. I'm like, he always complains he has no money, but yet somehow he's got money to... Hey, yeah, listen. It's free to watch. No, he was putting go. money in his thong. Or, <laughs> yeah, no, I always go shorts. and tip the go-go boys. It's almost like throwing a quarter in the fountain. You got to, like, make, make a little wish. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Make a wish. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen. I wish you were sleeping with me. <laughs> you can go to krve.com if you want to bring something to couples court. We could do that because she wins supreme on that. No speedo. At the, the community kids. pool, that's for sure. Um, okay. What, so we, the we, swim we, team, we, though, the swim oh. team wears Speedos. But they're not at the community pool. Yeah, the, uh, my community pool, yes. we had a swim Good team, team yep. and the boys oh, yeah, all yeah. wore yeah. what we called at the time the Weenie Benders. Day of your life. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we called it Christmas. Weenie Benders. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quick, I got to oh, say hi God. to Juan. Juan, can you hear me? Yes. Juan. You're Texture 104. You won LL Cool J tickets for the summer of 2023. Hey, congratulations. Awesome. Yay. And now you're a finalist for the $10,000 at the end of the summer. Congratulations, Juan. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Hang on the line. I'm going to get your speedo? information off the air. Yes. You have to come. If you win the $10,000, you have to come here with a Speedo one. Just kidding. Okay, to get it. <laughs> Hold on, Just buddy. kidding. <laughs> okay. Coming up next, uh, you know how, like, we, for those of you who haven't caught up on this on podcast, we can't play music. Like, I can't play the Go-Go's Vacation yep. no. on our podcast. No. On the Real and Ryan Show, yes. But on the podcast, I can't. So we do-do-do-do-do it instead. Yep. Mm. The best summer songs are out. Oh, you're going to do-do mm. the summer songs? It's the best summer songs in the last 10 years. If mm. you remember, which is the song that reigns supreme in the summer. Okay. But huh. I can't play them, so I'm going to do-do-do-do them. do right. It's like a little game. Let's do Next it. in Scoop on the Real and Ryan Show. Celebrity Scoop on KRVE. All right, friends, if you're newer to the show, maybe you haven't heard us mention this, we don't do it every time, but on our podcast page, you can he- listen to the show anytime you want. Go to krve.com or download the app. You can listen to all the Rule and Ryan fun. Yes. But w- if we play like a song because we're talking about it, like let's say we're going retro, Go Go's Vacation because it's 80s, it's vacation time, it's summer. You can't, we can play it here for you to listen to live, but on the podcast, we'd have to remove it. Or like when uh, Kevin wins at Rabbit Fire, he plays his song, his theme song. You'll cry. But we can't play that on the podcast. No. Yeah, it's like rules it and, yeah, rules. Ugh, rules. We hate rules. So in the past, I would play you guys clips of these songs, but to give the podcasters a, a, some fun and to Plus be able the, to hear the segment. It's a fun game. To, uh, yeah. we can, We're taking lemons it. and turning it in lemonade. That's right. In your it's, car, you can play this uh, as well. By long, see if you know these songs. We're doing all songs from the last like 10 years, right? 15 yeah, years. well, Billboard put together the top 10 songs of every summer since 1958, but since listing them all would take forever, it's the number one song. And it's 15 summers listed here. But we even have, even 15 is too many. I'll do like seven. Should I do like seven? You just, you just Whatever you in. want. Go I'll ahead. Let's see, see, see how many y'all can get. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's start with this one. Do 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 Yes, Party Rock Anthem, LMFAO, the summer song of 2011. That was big. I'll jump around so I don't go all in order. How about this one? Hold on. Oh, gosh, let's think. Okay. Do 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 yeah, Old Town Road. Old Town Road. That was from 2019. Was, All right. That was played. Songs of the Summer. How about mm-hmm. this one? 
I like that one. Dun, dun, oh, hold on, I gotta think of how it goes. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I gotta think of the chorus. This is from. Okay. Um, <laughs> do, it's hard because you I gotta, gotta skip it. It's I gotta, so uh, hard. You're doing great. Like well, what feud. was it? See if someone can just. Yeah, what was it? Tell Ryan. Maybe he can do do it. Yeah, I because I wanted to, it, but I think I picked it. it up the wrong way. Why it's... don't you say it in Sam's ear? Yes, oh, oh, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. we won't listen okay, to. We'll be talking. Okay, okay. So rule is whispering in Sam's ear because we have this little device that we can talk okay. to each other behind the scenes. You got it. Okay. He's not going to know that. All right. He's not going to know that. You do. Okay, you do it. You do. No, I don't know it. Oh, come on. You don't know that? No. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do. It. Here's what I know. Okay. Here's what I know. I don't know that song. Do 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 do. Hey. Oh, I can't say hey. Oh. <laughs> do 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 do. Okay. Sam, you, you do it. It's no, I don't know the song. But am I kind of getting it? Like, See how it's hard? See, I don't, I don't know the song. Like blurred lines. Yes, yes oh! it is blurred lines. Like the hey part. It hey, is, it is blurred lines. I don't hey, everybody. Do 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 do. Let me take my shirt off and just bounce. Yeah. Do 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 Yeah, it's blurred lines. Okay, it was hard to do it. Yeah, that one I still don't hear it. That is the 2013 song of the summer. I know the hey. That was not. Okay, how about this one? How about this one? If I tell you about this one, you'll get it. If I don't tell you the hit, you might not get it. I just try it without the hint. Without the hint. Okay, here we go. Do, do, oh wait, so by the way, if you're just tuning in, we're doing summer songs. I gotta do do them. If you just tuned in, you're like, what the hell are they doing? Songs of the summer. Do 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 do. It's getting too long. All right, let's have the hint. This person was in our studio and sang it live. This person was in our studio saying exactly where Kevin is hmm. and talked about because he sang it live at a Texans game in the halftime. Oh, I know what it is. Oh. It's that, do, 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 Cheer something. Cheerleader by Omi. Omi, yeah. Cheerleader. Do, Remember? What year is that? Do, do, do. It's uh, 2015. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm a cheerleader. I don't remember that. It's you too remember hard that to like. You should, no, yeah, I don't remember him being in course. studio. Right, oh, yeah, he came and he was doing a whole. That was hard. That was good. How about, dang, how about this one? Uh... Do, 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 Yep, 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 yep. Fancy 2014 song of the summer. By who? That is Iggy Azalea. Charlie XCX. She was in the studio, too. Oh, how about this one? Y'all are going to know this one easy. Kevin's going to for sure know this one. You can't guess. Stay in the corner, Kevin. Kevin's going to know this so well because... this one out. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, I got a feeling. Um, oh. I got a piece. Your wedding song. Black Eyed Peas, I got a feeling. 2009. Kevin's redone that song like what? 50 times yes. for wedding couples? Yes. Yes. Over and yeah. over again. We How write a lot of one? people's names into it. Last one? Yeah, I want to go last one. the summer song yeah, last year? Give the one for The summer song last year is this one. Um, I can't sunroof. Do it. It wasn't no, sunroof. It wasn't sunroof. Oh. Um, uh, it was the Joe Bros? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do do do. It's as it was by Harry Styles. Uh oh. oh. That was huge. Do, 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 do. How funny! I yeah. did not get that. that as it was, it's the chorus. I did not hear that one. I did not hear that at all. You killed it. Sorry. Okay, as it was, Harry Styles, the song of 2022 for the summer. How about the one? Is there one for this? For this summer? We don't know. We don't have 23 yet. What was the two I didn't years know if ago? Was there was any predictions. We haven't even entered the summer be, uh, 2023 yet. Uh, predi- no, but I didn't know Maybe if there was Rema? any predictions. Maybe Rema? It could be if, Re- Gomez? If, if Rema sticks around. But, yeah. but sometimes I'm, they're one hit wonders. I'm rooting for the Jonas Brothers. I need oh, yeah. that. Yeah, Waffle, House. Waffle House. I need Waffle House to, to we play over. It in the morning part? Uh, we, I haven't heard it on our show yet, but we play it in the afternoon. We play it on my show. Sam play it. Stop taking my music. Because <laughs> you just got to hang out with me. Because they're my friends. Yeah. And I like to hear yeah. and Ryan Post show your pick on KRPE to tell you what's going down <laughs> in H-Town. All right, it is brought to you by Duncan. Your name could exist among the stars, immortalized in a space poem that's bound for Jupiter next year. NASA, our guys right here at NASA, what? guys poem? and girls at NASA, are inviting people uh, to sign their names on a poem for Europa. It's kind of like a message in a bottle type thing. The poem will travel billions of miles aboard the Europa Clipper to Jupiter's icy moon, October 2024. This is really kind of cool. The space agency is going to investigate whether an ocean below the surface of Europa could support life. So names must be received 
before midnight, December 31st. Where? They'll be stenciled into a microchip, which will be engraved on the spacecraft. Isn't the same crap as buying a star in, like, 2000? So, okay. Yeah, but so this is free. It's not going to cost you anything. But they're looking, like into, they're looking into a moon off of Jupiter to see if we can move there? Well, there? that there's water, that there's an ocean under it. Yeah. It's I don't want my cold. I don't want my name out there. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> or you think here, an alien's right? going to say, you know, oh there's, there's that guy with the douchey yeah. signature. Let's abduct him. Yeah, they're going to come here and they got a list of people. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like those scams. It'll Kevin manifest. gets those calls. I thought, like, Kevin, you'd be the first one to sign up with space exploration that you'd want to have your name out there. Yeah, but it's like That's on a dope, microchip babe. somewhere. Can you see it? <laughs> well, maybe so somebody will. It's kind of you arrogant to think that we're the only things alive in all I'm of the saying universe. For you, we are a, we are a world of like not narcissists. What's the word? Like you want to have the reward of what you paid for, or what you the reward of what you earned. So yeah, but people also, that bought the star in two thousand that know the galaxy, they're like, a star. Open, they can see the star. You can also create and download an illustration of your name on the message to keep as a souvenir. So you oh. get like a little pic. Then you bright to everyone. Sounds that like I have. My name's in space. <laughs> Oh, that'd be, sure. Cool. I'd be so like, oh, nice. Nerd. I'm at this. You missed what happened on Will and Ryan's Roses today. You're about to yeah, hear and, it. and you're saying this, and we're going to have some friends from NASA here tomorrow morning. No, that's you're not going, cool. You're going to have some friends from NASA tomorrow. They're yeah. not my friends. Yeah, I have no friends. I don't know. I got friends <laughs> in NASA? low places. <laughs> but NASA is a high place. That's a high goes. place. Yeah, that's a pot. I mean, <laughs> here we are. We're talking about geniuses this is that why I don't do explore parodies. other worlds. We're a bunch of clowns that sit in a room and tell fart jokes. Well, maybe you, you do. You speak for yourself, yeah. Ryan. Yeah. I talk about. Oh, you're more highbrow. Oh, my gosh. She talks about her boob cheese. Or I talk about her boob cheese. That's dried formula from the baby for I'm those that sure. didn't hear the conversation. No, nope, was getting. Go back creative. to 640. Anyway, let's move along because Sam's arm is waving and she's not here to do arm exercises as she waves us off. Uh, Rulin' Ryan's roses. If you missed it, you missed it. You're going to hear it next on the Rulin' Ryan show.